friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Previously, I showed you how to save pictures taken by the camera component in your app to the Cloud DB. In this class, I will teach you how to use the image picker to choose an image from our device in our app and save it to the Firebase DB. I will also show how to load the image. As the image will be saved in the cloud and not on the device, any user of our app on a different device can see the uploaded image. We need an extension for encoding our image to Base64 before saving it to the database. Download the AIX file from this link. Just go down and download this AIX file and click on Keep. Open up firebase.google.com. I showed in my sign up and login screen with Firebase DB tutorial about how to set up a Firebase project and create a real time database in it. I will quickly do it again for you. So go to console, make sure that you're signed in using your Google account, click on create a project. Let's give it a name, app inventor 001. Continue, continue. Select an account, create the account if it is not in the list, then click on create project, continue. Now scroll down on the left hand side and click on all products and then choose real time database and then click on create database. Don't change this setting, otherwise the database will not work from MIT App Inventor, so keep it United States. Click on Next and just enable it that it starts in locked mode. Now go to Rules and make this Read True and Write True, okay? And then publish the changes and then go back to this data tab and copy this address of your database URL. Okay, so just copy it by clicking on this link and now go to MIT App Inventor, go to projects, start a new project and let's call it save image to Firebase DB. Keep the toolkit default, click on OK. For screen one, in its properties, make align horizontal center, drag and drop from experimental, a Firebase DB component onto the viewer. So it gives you a warning that it is an experimental feature, just go with it. And in the Firebase DB components properties, change this Firebase URL to the one that we copied from here, okay, this one. So just paste it here and then go down on the left hand side and now click on extension and import the extension that we downloaded, the AIX file. Let me close this so that I'm able to see it. Now drag and drop this extension so that it becomes a part of your project, its component. Now go to media and drag and drop an image picker onto the viewer and change the text on it to choose image. Okay, now drag and drop from the user interface an image component just below this image picker and in the images properties, Check scale picture to fit. From layout, drag and drop a horizontal arrangement onto the viewer below the image component and make align horizontal and align vertical both center. Make the height 15% and the width fill parent. Drag and drop from user interface a button inside this horizontal arrangement. Rename it to save button and change the text on it to save to. Again, 
put another button on the right hand side of the save button, rename it to load button and change the text to load. Our basic simple screen design is done, so let's go to the block section. When the screen is initialized, it is very important that we ask for reading image permission. So go to screen one and then ask for permission and ask for which permission? Read media images, okay? When image picker button is clicked and an image is chosen, the after picking event is triggered. Set this image component's picture to whatever the user has chosen his selection in the image picker. Okay, so it's not no available assets, it's this. When the save button is clicked, we need to call our extensions image to base 64 procedure to encode the image to base 64. So get the save button click event, and here. this image to base 64 and what is the image the image is our image component okay this procedure image to base 64 triggers the after image base 64 event with the encoded data so go to your extension base 641 and scroll up and there is this after image base 64 event that is triggered in response to this procedure call and this is the encoded image data. So here we are going to call our Firebase TB store value procedure, this one. And what's the tag? The tag needs to be unique in your DB. Let's call it saved IMG and this is the encoded data that should be saved in the DB, okay? So the saving to Firebase DB part is complete. So let's work on the loading part. When the load button is clicked, what we're gonna do is, we want to download this encoded image data from Firebase DB and decode it and show it back to the user. So we need to call the Firebase DB's get value procedure and make sure that you provided the correct tag. So put it here and this procedure call will trigger the got value event when data is received. So check that the value is not empty. That is there was some data in the database. So go to control and get the if then block. Go to logic, get the equal to block, okay? And hover over value to get the get block for it. And this empty block and check if it is not equal to. So if the value is not equal to empty, then we are going to call our base641 extension. And decode the data back into an image and put it inside the image component, okay? So again, hover over it to get the get block and we have to provide it the image component in which it should put the decoded image, okay? So this is done. The code is completed for saving an image to Firebase DB and loading it from Firebase DB. And the code will be exactly the same for Cloud DB. So you can use the default Cloud DB provided by MIT App Inventor similarly, or a free Redis Cloud DB as shown in my free Redis Cloud tutorial because the blocks for Cloud DB and Firebase DB are exactly the same like store value, get value, so I hope you like this video and it helps you in your future projects. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I have planned for you. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Have a good day and goodbye.